Welcome to Old School Gamers. Today, we're gonna show you how to get Virtual Cop 2 running on your Pi 4 for your sending night guns. Let's do it. So this video is definitely way overdue and I want to give a shout out to the contributors uh, Widge, Luther, and Cheeky and the guys who put some time and effort to get this thing running. Virtual Cop 2 is definitely one of my favorite light gun games. It's much like Confidential Mission and I love that game. This fits right up you know, in that same kind of feel and gameplay and I like it a lot. So yes, the wiki does have all the instructions, but for those of you that have been requesting the video and like to see videos instead of following wiki, here you go. So first thing is we want to download the setup script for the RetroPie. Once you download that, go ahead and upload it. Open up your SFTP and we're going to upload it up to your Pi. Once it's uploaded to the Pi, then you'll be able to run the script to install it. We're going to upload this to Home, Pi, RetroPie setup script modules lib retro cores and now let's head over to the Pi so that we can run this setup script all right so when you boot up your Pi you're going to go into the RetroPie section click on the RetroPie setup and when this loads we're going to go into manage packages click on manage optional packages and scroll down until you see the LR flycast new Once you click on this, you're going to get an option to install from source and click yes. Now I have a Pi 4 with 8 gigs of RAM and it's overclocked to 2 gigahertz and I'm on a wireless connection. And this took roughly 9 to 10 minutes to complete. So it just depends on your network connectivity and what you have your Pi set to, but that'll give you an idea. And once it's all done, make sure you do a reboot. And now we're going to upload our ROM into the Home Pi Retro Pi ROMs Dreamcast folder. And I'll put a link in the description, and you should see one on the screen here, of how to set up Dreamcast with the right BIOS files and folder structures so that you can drop ROMs and just play. If you are running the bare bones image, then that's all you need to do. If you're running mix mode or your own custom image, you may want to create your own CFG override file for this ROM so that you can have the buttons work exactly how you want them. Now all we have to do is restart emulation station so that we can see the game in our list. That should only take a few seconds and once it's up you want to start your gun. If you have two of them go ahead and start them both. Then quickly hit the A button as soon as you see the splash screen. What we want to do is associate this ROM to the LR Flightcast new emulator. That way it'll work. Once you're in the game, I highly recommend going into the options screen and going down to the gun calibration. Once you have this set up for however many players are playing, then you can make a save state. If you only have one gun and it's trying to get you to calibrate the second, then you can simply go into your input and scroll down to port two binds Set the mouse index to zero so that you can, can control the second player with your first gun control buttons. Well, so that you can control player two with your player one gun. Then you can exit out. Just make sure to set the mouse index back to two for second player if you ever get another gun or another controller. And that's it guys. Now you can have some Virtua Cop 2 fun on your Pi 4. So if you guys run into issues, please hop on the Discord. The link will be in the description, and you guys can hit us up for all kinds of questions. Enjoy, guys. This has been a fun one. See you on the next video. Beach. Let's go!
Yeah.